Okay, so for lesson two, we are going to talk about slope intercept form of a line. This is the equation of a line. You cannot have a line without an equal sign. You can't have a line without an equal sign. It has to be y equals or x equals to have that line. <clears throat> um, y equals mx plus b is called slope intercept form. M no, nope, I'm not gonna write it over there. Sorry. Do 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 undo. Um XY is any point on the graph. M is the steepness or the slope. And zero B is where the function crosses the y-axis. So when it's in this form, you will see there is a B right there. If you do 0B, you've got the y-intercept. There is an M in front of the x. The M by itself is the slope. So we like this form because it's very easy. There's four types of slope, which we talked about. When we ski, remember we ski from left to right. This would be positive. This would be negative. Zero slope and undefined. Just talked about that. So we're going to find the indicated information and graph the line. So this is what your assignment's going to look like. You're going to find the slope, the y-intercept, but the reason why I said it's really important that I record a new video is because we're also going to find the x-intercept for each of these. And then we're also going to graph the line. So y equals 5. On the first page of notes, y equals 5 is a, hor is a horizontal line where y is always 5. So we can pick some ordered pairs. 1, 5, 2, 5. 3, 5. Y is always 5. That's what that equation says. 1, 5. 2, 5. 3, 5. I did not do that at all. I just went backwards. <laughs> Ignore what I just did. Going too fast. 1, 5. 2, 5. 3, 5. You see how I'm making a horizontal line? You can take our line and connect so what is the slope of this line we had that in the first set of notes what is the slope am I skiing uphill am I skiing downhill am I going up or downhill so what's in the middle of up and downhill zero my slope is zero the y-intercept is where the graph passes through the y-axis. There's my y-axis. What is the y-intercept? Has to be an ordered pair where x is 0. Ella, what's the y-intercept? 0, 5, but yes, 5. But you want to write 0, 5 or it's going to mark it wrong. Now the x-intercept, where does this graph cross the x-axis? Brooke gave you the hard question. It doesn't. So we write on Canvas, we write none. There isn't one. So we'll simplify that. We'll all write none. It's okay to write none. All right, next question. x equals negative 4. So this is an equation where x is always negative 4. So negative 4, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 4, 3 could be some examples. X is always negative 4. Negative 4, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 4, 3. What kind of line am I making? Uh, Joel, what kind of line is this? 
A little bit louder, huh? Vertical, perfect. Vertical line. So you can connect it. You've got shapes on there to make straight lines. So we are going to do the slope, the y-intercept, and the x-intercept for each of these. So can you ski that line? No. So what do we write if we can't do it, Corey? Undefined. Undefined. Perfect. Undefined. Y-intercept. Where does it cross through the y-axis? Ah, yeah. Where does it cross the y-axis? No. This one's the y-axis. Where does it cross the y-axis? It has none, right? What were you giving me? The x-intercept. So she gave me the x-intercept at negative 4, 0. That's the x-intercept. Okay? Next, y equals negative 3x plus 2. We're going to do the slope, the y-intercept, and we are going to do the x-intercept. So, this is in the form of y equals mx plus b. Our m is the slope. So in this equation, what number, Jaden, what number is the slope? Negative 3. <coughs> you do not put the x. See, I didn't write an x. It's just the number. The y-intercept is the, is the ordered pair 0, b. So we look at this equation. Here's the b. 0, whoop, let me put it on the line. There's the B. Uh, Sierra, can you help me with the y-intercept? 0, comma, two. 2. And make sure you have the whole parenthesis, 0, comma, 2. Now the x-intercept is the one tricky thing. Oops, meant to change that color. x-intercept. Plug 0 in for y and solve the equation. So we have to plug in 0 for y and then solve the equation. So I will have 0 equals negative 3x plus 2. 0 equals negative 3x plus 2. So now we're going to solve that from Algebra 1 and geometry stuff. Solving it. We need to subtract 2 from both sides. So we are left with, I'm running out of space. So we are left with negative 2 equals negative 3x. And then remember, if we're multiplying by negative 3, then we have to divide by negative 3. So I'm going to get x equals, and then I will reduce negative 2 over negative 3 to get 2 over 3. So we have to solve the equation to find the x-intercept. Uh, uh, and that's going to be 2 over 3, comma, 0. 2 over 3, comma, 0. To graph this line, we are going to plot the points and use the slope. So we will plot 0, 2. We can plot 2 thirds, 0, but that's kind of a, you know, an approximation. I'm going to use my slope. That is negative 3. But remember, slope needs to be rise over run. So to make that rise over run, we put it over 1. So to do our rise over run, we start at an ordered pair, and rise will be down 3 over 1. Down 3 over 1. Down 3 over 1. And you can use your straight line to connect the shapes. By the points, I mean. <laughs> I 
I am making a video. So if I go too fast, you can go back and just look at snippets of that video to just fi finish filling things in, okay? I am creating the video right now and I will upload it as soon as we're done. So the next example, y equals 1 half x minus 3. We're going to do the slope, the y-intercept, and the x-intercept. So I need to know the slope. And I'm going to call on Macy. Macy, what is the slope for this equation? A little bit louder, hon. One over two, right, one half, perfect. And the y-intercept, um, Jenna, the y-intercept, remember, it's going to be an ordered pair. Uh, zero. Zero. Uh, zero. 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 Excellent. You even got the correct sign. Make sure that negative goes with the three as well. Zero, negative three. Let's find the x-intercept. We're going to have to solve. So you have to make y zero. Zero equals one half x minus three. I'm going to add three to both sides. Now if I have to cancel out a one half times x, what cancels out one half times x? What undoes? Multiplying by half? Does anybody know? Oh, divide by half? Yeah, I don't want to divide by fraction, but that totally does work. We can multiply by the reciprocal. Was that you, Tessa? Perfect. Um, yes, we're going to multiply by 2. We're multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 half, and that cancels out the 1 half. So we get x equals 6. So we will write that order pair as 6 comma 0. So to graph it, um, I can graph my y-intercept at 0, negative 3, my x-intercept at 6, 0, and I can find more points using my slope. We begin at any of the points, it doesn't matter which one, and we do our rise. Do our rise one, run two. Rise one, run two. Rise one, one, two, run two. And connect. going crazy. Hope, hope everything's okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Number five is not in y equals, oops, that's lines. <laughs> Number five is not in y equals mx plus b. It's not in that form. So you can't use these little helpful tricks until it's in that form. So the first thing we want to do is manipulate the equation. Put it in the correct form. So I want to get y by itself. Here y is over here. I'm going to add to, well, I'm going to do it over here. Let me do it in a different color, black. Let's do 8 equals 10x minus 2y. I'm going to add 2y to both sides. So I get 2y plus 8 equals 10x. Now I'm going to subtract the 8. <laughs> 2y equals 10x minus 8. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2. And I get 5x minus 4. That is the y equals mx plus.
plus B form. So if it's not in that form to begin with, you need to move it into that form. When it is in this form, um, Holland, can you help me by giving me the slope? So the slope is the M. Five. Perfect, five. And then the Y-intercept. Remember the Y-intercept is zero B. And I would like to hear from Brene. Zero, zero, negative four, brilliant. Zero, negative four. And then for the X-intercept, Jacob, what do I have to do to find the x-intercept? I need to make the y zero, that's right. Make y zero. So I'm going to have zero equals, I lost my spot, 5x minus 4. And we're going to add 4 to both sides. Then I'm going to divide by 5, and I get 4 fifths. Um, Ariana, how can I write my x-intercept if I know 4 fifths is the number? Perfect, 4 fifths, 0. So we go to graph it, we can plot those ordered pairs, 0, negative 4, 4 fifths 0 is just approximately there. It's kind of hard to be exact on that one. And then I'm going to use my slope. Um, my slope is 5, but I need it to be a fraction. So um, Grace, how do I make 5 into a fraction? Perfect, five over one. So I'm gonna start at negative four. I'm gonna go up five over one. Up five over one. Use a straight line to connect them. Okay, so you have two worksheets due and um, let's Find, once you have those notes, let's go find those together so everybody knows where they are. Maybe we could actually just upload them straight into my drive so that we don't, so you know how to do it since some of us are having trouble. Um, under our modules, if you guys keep hitting next, I, I have to put it in student mode to do it. I can do it in student mode real fast. but. Um, you guys keep hitting next. It's just the next thing that shows up. Mine has other stuff in there. Where's my, here it is, student view. So if I'm in modules as a student, and like if you just go back to modules, you can see what things are. So today we did unit one, lesson one, video, plot points, slope, equations, vertical, and so on. And then here um, is our graphing review assignment. That's the first one due today. It, it comes up as a PDF. We click on it. You do show in folder and then move it into your algebra to folder. What I, the way I do it though has to be different than the way you do it, unfortunately. Come on. Okay, one more time. There we go. So now I have mine over there. And then if you are back in Canvas and you just keep hitting next, you'll come to where you have to enter in the answers. Thursday says somewhere on there that it's due Thursday. And then you hit next. And you go back to the, uh, oh, sorry, you go to Khan Academy, which I haven't talked about yet. Then you hit next, and you go back to the notes that we just did. And then you hit next, 
and then you will come to the second assignment. So we need to download that one, show in folder. Move it to your drive. And so I have my new two assignments there. That's where you can open them from Cami, from in here. Um, back to the modules, if you hit next, this is where you will submit the second assignment. I, it says this will be up soon. I haven't put all the answers in yet. It will be up real soon. You'll be able to upload your answers by the time that's done, that you've finished it. Um, but that one I didn't finish all the way yet, so it'll be up real soon. So you have two worksheets due by Thursday. Again, remember we're on block day, so we're doing two things per day. Um, that Khan Academy thing that I said I'll come back to, this is something that doesn't have a due date yet, but you will have Khan Academy assignments throughout um, certain sections. And what you'll have to do, it says right at the very top, let's see if I can zoom in, it says you're going to go to KhanAcademy.org and remember we logged in the first day. So if you weren't there the first day, I need to help you get logged into Khan Academy. And then you'll click on your name and you'll go to Learner Home and you'll see four assignments. And they're basically like tiny little mini quizzes. I think there's four questions each. If you get four right, you're pretty much done. Maybe five. Maybe five. As long as you get a 75% or higher, you're done on each of those. I would try to achieve that 100%. But um, that doesn't have a due date yet. But if this assignment's really easy for you and you have some extra time, that would be a good thing to go get done ahead of time before it is due. Okay? Questions? How about you need individual help? I will come around and help you. Let me just stop this video and I'll start uploading it for those of you that might need it and then I'll come.